please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In Python's Q module, the Q.join method is used to block until all items in the queue have been processed and removed. By default, this method blocks indefinitely until the queue is empty. However, in some situations, you might want to set a timeout, so you don't wait forever for the queue to become empty. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to add a timeout argument to the queue.join method with a code example. To follow along with this tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of Python and be familiar with the queue module. If you haven't already, you can import the module as follows. The queue.join method can be blocked indefinitely, but you can add a timeout to it using the timeout argument. The timeout argument specifies the maximum time, in seconds, to wait for the queue to become empty. If the timeout is reached and the queue is not empty, the method will return, allowing your program to continue its execution. Here's the syntax of the queue.join method with the timeout argument. Now, let's look at an example that demonstrates how to use the timeout argument with the queue.join method. In this example, we have a producer thread that puts items into the queue, and a consumer thread that consumes items from the queue. We use the timeout argument in the queue.join method to specify a maximum waiting time for the consumer thread to finish. If the consumer thread doesn't finish within 3 seconds, we consider it as a timeout. By adding the timeout argument, you can make your code more responsive and handle situations where you don't want to wait indefinitely for a queue to become empty. That's it. You've learned how to add a timeout argument to Python's queue.join method to control the maximum waiting time for a queue to become empty. This can be very useful in scenarios where you need more control over the blocking behavior of your program. Chat GPT Title how to find the maximum value in one Python array not present in another array. Introduction In Python, it's common to work with arrays, lists, and perform various operations on them. One common task is finding the maximum value in one array that is not present in another array. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to achieve this using Python expressions. Requirements Step 1. Create two arrays. Let's start by creating two arrays. One will be the source array from which we want to find the maximum value not present in the other array. Step 2. Find the maximum value not in the second array. Now, we will use a Python expression to find the maximum value in first array that is not present in second array. We will do this in a single line of code using the max function and list comprehension. Explanation Step 3, print the result. Now, let's print the result to see the maximum value in first array not present in second array. Step 4, run the code. Save your Python script with a .py extension and run it using a Python interpreter. You should see the output with the maximum value that meets the criteria. Example output. Chat GPT. Python's Q module provides a powerful way to manage threads and processes using queues. The join method in the Q class is commonly used to block until all items in the queue have been processed or until a specified number of tasks have completed. However, it does not support a timeout argument by default. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a timeout argument to the queue.join method to make it more flexible for handling scenarios where you want to wait for a certain amount of time before moving on. Before we dive into adding the timeout argument to the queue.join method, make sure you have Python installed on your system. To add a timeout argument to the queue.join method, we will create a custom subclass of q.q and override the join method to include the timeout functionality. Here's how you can do it. In this code, 
we've created a custom timeout queue class that inherits from queue.q. We override the join method to include a timeout argument. Here's how it works. This customized timeout queue class allows you to set a timeout for the join method and raise an exception if the timeout is exceeded. Remember to customize the worker function and the timeout value according to your specific requirements. That's it. You now have a queue with a timeout feature for better control of your multi-threading or multi-processing applications. ChatGPT Python's queue class, specifically from the queue module, is a useful data structure for implementing thread-safe queues. It is often used for communication between different threads in a multi-threaded application. The join method of a queue is commonly used to block until all items in the queue have been processed. However, in some cases, it's necessary to add a timeout to this operation to avoid indefinite waiting. In this tutorial, we will explore how to add a timeout argument to Python's queue.join method with a code example. Before proceeding, you should have a basic understanding of Python and the queue module. The join method in Python's queue class does not have a built-in timeout argument. However, we can implement this functionality ourselves using Python's threading module. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to add a timeout argument to the queue.join method. Here, we use a while loop to repeatedly attempt the queue.join operation. We calculate the time elapsed during each iteration and compare it to the specified timeout. If the timeout is exceeded, we raise a timeout error to signal that the operation has timed out. In this example, the queue underscore join underscore with underscore timeout function will wait for a maximum of 2 seconds for all items in the queue to be processed. If the timeout is exceeded, a timeout error will be raised, as indicated in the accept block. This custom function allows you to add a timeout to the queue.join operation ensuring that your program doesn't get stuck indefinitely waiting for the queue to become empty. That's it. You've successfully added a timeout argument to Python's queue.join method. This can be especially helpful when working with multi-threaded applications where you want to control the maximum time your program waits for a queue to be processed. ChatGPT